Hi, I'm Cameron, and this is Piyush and Natalie, and together we're hollow. Now, around one in seven people in Hong Kong have a mental illness, but 100% of individuals have mental health needs that need to be cared for. But despite this growing advocacy for mental well-being, by 2030, mental illness will be one of the highest causes of death in Asia. Now, back in 2017, I met one of my close friends, Mark. Over time, though, I began to notice that he had signs of depression. He eventually found help, but he was skeptical and became frustrated with the system when he felt like the treatment wasn't enough. So he soon dropped out, and in 2018, I came home one night to find out that my friend Mark had just taken his own life. Now, unfortunately, there are millions of kids around the world like Mark. When mental health is something so personal and experienced differently, the current rigid definitions and data treatment options don't help. When 35% of people sign up for help and 40% of those that do drop out afterwards. So one of the leading causes of these rigid definitions is the non-proactive treatments. This causes an information gap experienced by professionals. Without the means to get the data and this unreliable self-reporting method, counselors spend a lot of time trying to fill in this data gap. So what we've done is create a mental health companion app that improves diagnosis and treatment delivery for mental health services. We make it accessible for those who may not even know that they have depression or anxiety with our active and passive monitoring. So this allows us to let patients spend less time in the system and keep professionals well informed. So how it works is after answering a condensed industry standard test, we correlate this data with our di digital metrics with the help of Azure's Machine Learning Studio, Azure's Face API, and Azure's Text Analytics API. So for example, we can track the emotions during a diagnosis through video where we compare the cognitive stress through heart rate analysis. We can use this data in hand with social monitoring, location and movement analysis, and sleep quality to give professionals an in-depth insight into how to reduce treatment time and improve the quality. One we minute, provide this minute. clinical practice to help enhance our patient's therapy path by iterating it with the use of our machine learning insights, giving treatment that's appropriate to their symptom intensity. So our current go-to market plan is running our pilot programs in the coming months with our partnered NGOs in Hong Kong and some of the schools that they're with and see how we can enhance their services and help more kids. So we've already been endorsed and received some awards from Hong Kong's Entrepreneurship Hub. And in the future, we're looking at monetizing our software as a service by charging an annual fee to the institutions so that patients who can't pay don't need to. So we aim to scale to the point where we can bring this service to the countries that have the least resources to help the youth with their mental health. And hopefully one day we can help kids that are struggling just like Mark and really make an impactful difference by giving them another chance at life. Thank you.